everybody. So we had such a wonderful experience talking about Philadelphia language, Philadelphia lingo. We had to make another video, okay? Yous asked, and now you've got another John, okay? All right, those are from the first video. So let's talk about water, okay? We spoke about water on the last film, but what about water ice? It's not water ice, it's water ice. You get down to Rita's, you get some water ice. Now it's not to be confused necessarily with an icy, and it's not ice water, it's ice water. So bull, not bull, bull by the horns is bull. It might be spelled B-O-U-L, bull. Check out that bull over there, he's got some new kicks. A fella, a guy, this person. Yo, that bull's cool, all right? Hey, bull. So we're in the A's. You want to say OK, A-O-K. -okay. That works. But in Philly, you say ARD or I. ARD, A-R-D. I was saying ARD. I'm A-O-K. -okay. <laughs> we're saying OK. What's up? What's up, bull? You all right? See how that goes? You can put them together. What's up is what's up. Hello. What's up? Hi there. Some of you might be thinking this video is whack or aki. You're talking my language. OK. Whack is not cool. Fake. Whack. Wacky. That bull is whack. This John's Aki. It's inauthentic, right? It's not real. It's not the uh, Philadelphia in its heart. Saudi, like this one. You're wrong. You're Saudi, man. You're wrong. Thought I was gonna be on time. I was Saudi. Now I get salty when I'm Saudi. So you gotta be, yeah, you gotta be careful. There's a little nuance here. There's pronunciations. There's nuances. It's salty. S a w t y. Not salty. Although some people in Philly get salty, but don't be salty. Water or water ice. I had to Google this again, because this is great. This is fun stuff. This is important stuff about living in Philadelphia. A fina, right? Fina? Fina? I was fun to go, but I was gonna go. Not sure how that fits in. I do hear that from time to time. I don't use it. I like to speak proper. I'm just kidding. Bet. Now, you're not placing a bet. We're not going to Atlantic City. We're not going down the shore to pay, place a bet. Bet means, all right, means yes. Means say no more. Means I got it. G, you want to go get something to eat? Bet. That means we're going. Done. Stop talking. Bet. End of conversation. Let's go. Bet. I'm in. You have my commitment. You want the best realtor in the area? Bet. Works pretty easily. So bet can work with say less. Oh, say less. <laughs> Like, you could just say less. You want to go to the art museum? Bet. Say less. Come on. It's been decided. The deal has been made. There's no discussion needed. You want to state your case? You want to tell me what kind of house you want? Bet. Say less. I hear you. I heard you. You can tell me twice, but I got you. Some people in Philadelphia have been known to maybe have some behavior that's questionable. Out of pocket. They might get a little out of line. But that's out of pocket. Yeah, that's a little over the line, guys. That bull's out of pocket. Now, don't confuse that with devil's pocket because that's a great area to live in Philadelphia, but out of pocket. When people ask, do I call you too much? Am I asking for too much? Nah or nah. Nah, bro, you I right. Man, that's Philly. Now there's a couple more and kids hold your ears because I don't want you to hear bad words, but crumb bum. Now crumb bum is a word that was used a lot, still could be used, but it's not a nice person. Crumb bum. We don't like a crumb bum in Philadelphia. Just the sound of the word makes you feel all crummy and bummy. I would love to hear your favorite Philadelphia slang word. It can be tasty cake. It can be soft pretzel. If you'd like to give us an idea on what we should do on another video to help your situation out, we'd be glad to do it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, hit me up. Bruh, if not, bye. Have a great day, everybody. I'm Gregory Marti, your local real estate expert, your local linguistic expert here in Philly. Hey, if you're talking to somebody from Philadelphia and you need some translation, yeah. have a good day, everybody.